You've seen People Magazine's reveal of Shushest Man Alive. Well, now it's time for Tail Trash Live's reveal of Shushest Trashy Alive. Who is she? Who is she? Honey, it's time for Tail Trash Live. I can't. I can't. Come on in, my trashies. I've been taking boxing classes, my trashies. I'm ready to fight. Hey, my babies. I'm Hinge. Come on in. Who is she? Who is Tail Trash Live? Shush, shush, trashy of the year. Of all time. Of alive. Of dead. Oh, I'm angry. No, I'm not. Hi, my trashies. Come on in. Is my sound on? Boring. Oh, I'm already being attacked. Welcome. Welcome to my life. Come on in, my trashies. We've got so much to talk about. I'm going to reveal Total Trash Live's trashiest, shushiest person of the year. Well, thank you. Well, let me read. I got to put my glasses on or I can't see a thing. Gosh darn it. Thank you, my baby. Hi, you guys. I've missed you all so much, my trashy. Wig is on. Wig is on, honey. We've got the dish. I'm taking boxing classes. Ugh. I took him and I beat the shit out of that punchy bag, honey. I was envisioning the affair and I just beat the shit out of it. Ugh. Oh, your sermon, your pastor is here, my trashy. We're going to talk about um, Kim Kardashian has a new robot boyfriend. Well, who doesn't? I was thinking about my robot um, affair in LA when I was being up um, a box, uh, being up a punching bag. Can you imagine if I? I'm still in Pittsburgh, honey. Don't ask me why. But can you imagine if I just stayed in Pittsburgh and just became a boxer? <laughs> and every time you see, every time I came back on live, my face was more and more deformed. Who cares? Who cares, honey? Hi, Brandon. Hi, Paige. Who cares, honey? Hollywood's falling apart. Hollywood's crumbling. They're using AIs in commercials. There's a Coca-Cola commercial, and it's AI, and they say the consumers are upset. Honey, who cares? Hollywood's crumbling, and I'm becoming a boxer. So it's my fallback career. I'm going to beat, beat the shit out of AI. What would be my boxing stage name? Rocco. I used to have a, um, a, a nameplate name that said Rocco, and, and, and now this one says Crybaby. So we've come a long way. Oh, where's John John? Oh, honey, she's out there somewhere. But listen, um, are you guys ready for Wicked? Honey, I can't stop seeing every advertisement for Wicked. Is Wicked AI? What's all this talk about Wicked? I saw the, um, the, the, uh, the Broadway show, The Touring Company. I don't remember what happened in that movie. I don't know. And it's about witches. Why are people being, like, in, prom why are people promoting being wicked during the holidays? Weak Ed, good one, my trashy. John John was at the Taylor concert here in Toronto. Well, why didn't you c kidnap him for me with the hard P? You think Wicked's going to be such a flop? Honey, I don't know anymore about that Wicked. I don't know what's going on. Sometimes Ariana's wearing pink. Is Barbie in it? Will I understand Wicked? I don't remember it. Actually, um, actually I'm, um, <clears throat> I'm going to reveal to you a secret, my trashies. Um, well, um, I'm in Wicked. I'm in the, I'm in the movie Wicked. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, actress. I'm in Wicked. Yeah, I am going to be in the biggest movie ever. And there's, there's going to be a doll. <coughs> well, I choked. I play um, a customer service representative um, who works for Oz, Dr. Oz, because Dr. Oz, it's about Dr. Oz. And um, this is my part. Hello, Dr. Oz's office. Ugh. Oh. 
wicked. Thank you. So I hope I'm not on the cutting room floor, and because it could be, you know, any reasons why I'm not wicked. So I could be on the cutting room floor. You know, will I understand it? I'm scared. It looks scary. Will you guys go see Wicked with me? I'm not the Wicked, honey. I'm not the Wicked. <coughs> Something's choking me. Did you hear about those dolls that got recalled? The Wicked dolls? Wickedly talented. Thank you, my trashy. Um, there's dolls that they made Wicked dolls, and on the back of them, it was supposed to be a website for Wicked the movie, and it was um, porno. Ah, <laughs> uh, and that's Wicked. And that's truly wicked. And if that isn't a wicked miracle, I don't know what one is. Sweetie Lumina is green and that's wicked? That's true, my trashies, because look, here she is, the true, the true green star of Hollywood. Here she is, my trashies. Ah. <coughs> uh, oh, I know you could have been one of the witches. But you're, you know, you're working your way up, honey. She's taking acting classes. She's taking improv. She's taking improv. And then she wants to do stand-up. And she wants a stand-up comedy special. Honey, everyone else has one. She's wicked. No pants. Well, she's wicked, honey. Um, speaking of no pants, so, do you guys see, now everyone's leaving Twitter because of AI, Coca-Cola, and um, now everyone's going to Blue Sky. I'm on Blue Sky too, if you're on Blue Sky. But honey, it's just as soon as they went to Blue Sky, because you know, there's a bunch of naked people on Twitter. All my Twitter is porn. And I'm not, I don't have a problem with it. But now all the, everyone's going to, um, to Blue Sky to get naked. I'm jealous. I want to get naked on, I want to get naked on, on Blue Sky at some point. I want to like show Bird. I want to show everything. Um, but I just want to have a sense of mystery about me, though. You know, I'm just, I'm just not ready, quite ready to do that. Maybe after a couple more boxing classes. You know, I'm just, I still want to have some mystery about me. But I'll, I'll let you in a little secret. I'm not wearing any panties. Well, I am. They're green. But you know what? Listen. Um, green bird. Oh, honey, that's when you know something's a scare. Uh, I just ordered cashmere panties. Yeah, honey, it was 50% off. I'm Charlie. Honey, I can't wait to wear cashmere panties for, for Thanksgiving and you're sitting at Thanksgiving dinner and they're serving the stuffing and they're serving the the pile of bell pie and they're serving that dry bird but you know that you are so so luxurious in your black cashmere panties for winter are you guys jealous are you trying to be jealous that I have, I'm getting cashmere panties in the mail. And they better come before Thanksgiving or I'm not going to Thanksgiving. I'm not going to Thanksgiving without cashmere panties. I don't, listen, everybody will bring a dish. They'll bring their cranberry and their disgusting food. I'm bringing cashmere panties. Ed Woodstall, that's right, my trashy. I'm bringing cashmere panties, honey. Listen. Uh, honey, they raided Sean uh, P. Diddy Combs' cell for documents and whatnot. All I know is they didn't find cashmere panties because I have cashmere panties. The numbers are up. I know, honey. I got to get my booster. You're having seconds of my cashmere panties? So anyway, I'm on Blue Sky, and maybe at some point I'll show Bird on there. I mean, everybody ran to there and got naked. Good for them. Good for them. Good for them. But you know what? What are you guys doing for Thanksgiving? Wear your juicy velour sweats for Thanksgiving. They're over here, honey. They're Sean John. You know, the Sean P. Diddy Company's line. Listen, I bought them before all the, everything that happened, the accusations and whatnot. And I'm going to keep wearing them. I said it before and I'll say it again. I bought them. I didn't do anything wrong. So they're comfy and they're great for the winter. And imagine them with, imagine my cashmere panties and my velour tracksuit. Oh, I'm here for it. Um, this is what I'm thankful for this year. My black cashmere panties and um, I'm just happy to be part of the LGBT community. Do a live for Thanksgiving? Oh, I'm going to be in actually Brooklyn for Thanksgiving. Yeah, honey. I, I want to try to see Nicole Schwarzenegger and Sunset Boulevard. Because, you know, what about the controversy with her, honey? She was trying to buy a MAGA hat. 
It didn't say MAGA on it. It said something about God. But it was a red hat. You can't wear red hats anymore. I mean, like, you can, you can wear, like, a red fedora. But you can't wear red baseball caps anymore. Anyway, now they're saying that she's not going to win the Tony because of it. Oh, well. Oh, well. She should have bought the cashmere panties instead of a red hat. You wouldn't be in this predicament. Oh, well. Oh, well. But I'm going to be in Brooklyn for Thanksgiving. Mandy Gonzalez is better than Nicole. I don't know who I'm going to see, but I want to see Sunset Boulevard. That was the first Broadway show I ever saw in 1994 with Glenn Close. So, and I really love the set, but I know they don't have a set this time. They have blood. Ah. Anyway, I am going to be the best dish on the menu with cashmere. You're heading to Erie for Thanksgiving? You have a MAGA hat bought in D.C. many years ago? Well, Kesara, Sara, and nobody got time for red hats, my trashy. Well, Nicole Schwarzenegger does. Coco's around, darling. Thank you for asking. She's somewhere. Now, listen. Um, I'm so happy to be a part of the LGBTQ plus community. Did you guys hear that um, LGBTQ plus communities were getting prank text messages saying nasty things to them? I want to know what they said. Does anybody know? I looked it up and I can't figure it out. And we have another mystery on the show tonight. And if you're just joining me at the end of the show, well, right before I read the tabloids, I'm going to reveal Total Trash Lives, Cheshire Trashy of the Year, All Time, Dead, Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Who is she, honey? Who is she? Who is she? But listen, this is what you need to do if you're going to go to um, Thanksgiving. So does anybody know in Los Angeles, we have a grocery store called Aron. And it's like, basically, it's the most expensive grocery store that's ever existed. Like, like um, little things of like balls, like little mushroom balls are like $16. Like a, a bottled water is like $15. I, go, I get bone broth in there sometimes because I have a bad ankle because I used to dance at all the nightclubs in New York. And I went to an, a doctor, a foot doctor, and he did a sonogram of my foot. And he was like, did you play football? <gasps> Who is she? Who is she? Does she play football? Who is she? Who is she? No, I didn't play football, doctor. I said I used twirling around at Twilo, spinning at Limelight, bumping and grinding at the Octagon, and I have wear and tear on my feet. So I get bone broth there. Well, honey, next thing you know, it's going to WeHo. Coming soon. Wait, it's upside down. A fair, listen. It's coming to WeHo. West Hollywood, if you don't know, is the gay boys' town of Los Angeles. So where are they going to sell this one? Bone broth poppers? <laughs> Cashmere panties? Honey, all the lube is bone broth. And I'm here for it. I want edible bone broth lube. Coming soon. No pun intended. Well, both bone broth, I don't know what it does for my feet. I don't know my trashy, but I drink it because... It's Goop told me to. No, I'm not repairing my affair with my my uh, my fast affair this summer. I when I've been taking boxing classes in Pittsburgh and I've been using his face when I hit and honey I hit hard. Gosh darn it! Well, you never know about Diana. Does she use Roku or not? Diana, Princess Diana. <laughs> honey, they didn't have Roku back then. I have feet. Thank you, my trashy. Apple cider vinegar plus bone broth lube. There you go, my trashy. Ah, uh and -uh. we ho. It is his loss, my trashy. Oh, let me tell you this though. <laughs> so then, when, okay, I, I wasn't planning on telling you this story. So when I, okay, right before I saw reacquainted myself with the affair in Hollywood, I had an affair in New York. I met somebody in New York and had an, like an affair, a brief affair. I hope he's not watching. Anyway, I he like mess, somehow I got like a message that he was on TikTok going live. As soon as I went live, honey, he was getting out of a car and he was telling somebody that he saw somebody he was what they were working with. This one was having an affair with a a, a a Postmates driver. Honey, what is going on with these affairs in this country? Everyone is a gosh darn slut. I can't seem to get an affair that's not a whore. Am I a whore? I'm wearing cashmere panties. Well, not now, but I will. Anyway. Uh, 
This is my new thing. I want to get this. Get, why am I hanging upside down? I want to get. <laughs> cat. Honey, am I in Australia? Affairs aren't what they used to be, my trash it. That's why I'm not a whore, I'm a lover. But I also like to sing, and I want, there's, there's Miss Frances Presents Ding Dong School Singing Games. There's a song in here called Come With Me and Turkey in the Straw. Turkey in the Straw, Turkey in the Straw, Set Down the Turkey at Ong. I love Ding Dong songs. Lavender's Blue. I don't know what these are, but I want this game. If somebody can find this, this is what I want for Christmas. Black Friday. Ding Dong School. I want Ding Dong School. Honey, I don't know if... That's what I was asking my trash is. Wiki a scary movie? I do need a cashmere teddy and cashmere heels. I mean, it's not like I have anybody to be with. Everybody I'm with is with somebody else. Affairs. Honey, there's affairs. I'm having affairs and then they're having affairs. It's affairs of on affairs on affairs. Everyone is just such slutty affairs. You think turkey is the straw is what got P. Diddy busted? Turkey in the straw? Ding-a-ling? I don't know. Listen, so much has been going on. There's another Jean Benet Ramsey movie coming out for Thanksgiving. Another one, gosh darn it. Honey, I don't think they want to solve this crime. They just want to make movies and specials. <sighs> Honey, I told you I solved it a long, a long time ago. It was, uh, it was allegedly the brother over pineapple. She took the pineapple out of the bowl and he hit her over the head. Gosh darn it. But they're just going to act like they don't know who it is. Allegedly. Has Sheila flown you to Pittsburgh? And honey, Sh Sheila flew the coop a long time ago. Do you think, do you want Madonna to make a movie or a series? Oh, I was going to get to that. So, yes, Madonna posted on her Instagram that she um, is having trouble making a movie in Hollywood because Hollywood's crumbling, AI, and um, they won't make her a movie. They want to make a small movie. So then she's like, do you want to make a movie or a series? And I said, girl, make a series. It should be a series. And like uh, every other chapter, like it's like every episode should have a different look. So it's like, you know, the like a virgin look, true blue look, like a prayer. Or at least every other episode. Like, you know, you could have different actresses too. But you get Julia Garner because people will watch it. I don't think people want to go to a movie to see a Madonna film. I mean, nobody goes to the movies to see anything. Are there even movies except Wicked? And I'm in it. Madonna is too good for Hollywood. I'm not living permanently in Pittsburgh, although it feels like it. No, I'm just here uh, for family business. And it's, gosh darn it, n none of my business. <laughs> Madonna should play somebody in the movie. Madonna should play her childhood idol, um, um, Maureen McFarlane, the one who said that she taught her how to insert a tampon from Truth or Dare. Or Madonna should play Ingrid Caceres, her, her lover. I'm in Wicked, yeah. Uh, if you guys missed it, I'll recreate my scene. I'm a customer service rep for Dr. Oz. He's not how. Thank you. Oh, and I do it in tune. Oh, my trashies, I'm so happy to see you. Pilot Poon plays Madonna and Evita in the, the Madonna series. Do you think Madonna should do a series or a movie? I think she should do a series. Honey, unless it's wicked, nobody wants to go to the movie theater. Or Barbie. Unless Madonna plays Barbie. Or Barbie's Madonna. Also, they won't even make a John Waters film. He wrote that book, um, Mouth? Loud, I'm going to call it Loud Mouth. You tell me. I forgot. I have so much on my plate. Single mothers of an alien. Honey, they made this movie. They made a movie and they stole her name, Lumina. And they made this movie and they didn't put her in it. How about an infomercial for Madonna? Well, Cher did it first. Um, I didn't care for Barbie either, my trashy. Eh? A Ryan Murphy Madonna series. I think, um, I think um, Baz Luhrmann should do it. It's only, it, only a gay person can do it or a woman. I think Baz Luhrmann should do it. John Waters should play Madonna. Anyway, they didn't want to make the John Waters film. I have his book. And he had it, everybody and he had it all set up. Because Hollywood's crumbling. Because Hollywood's crumbling. That's why I'm in Pittsburgh to become a professional boxer. And, I'll, and I'm going to end up beating up Mike, Ty Mike Tyson too. Everyone's doing it. A Lego Madonna movie? Good one, my trash game. Oh! I 
I'm sorry, just give me a moment. We almost lost, I almost lost somebody, we almost lost somebody very, very important to me. Deborah Norvell. Deborah Norvell was in the ER. She tried to use a knife to remove a cork. Urgent care had to stitch her finger back after slicing it open trying to remove a cork. I can't lose Deborah Norville. I mean, she's hardly ever on Inside Edition. She takes so many damn days off. But that's my girl. And I can't lose her before the holidays over a cork. Cork it, girl. Cork it up. I want to hear your name. Cork it up, Deborah. We've got to play the game. Cork it up. My diva, she's inside. Edition, cork it up. I want to hear all night. If I say the name and you pop the cork, let's pop the cork, baby. Sometimes I just like to sing like this. I like to sing like a ding dong, a ding dong school. Cork it up. Oh, not Deborah. We can't. I can't. I can't. But she's okay. She's probably going to talk about it on, on, on the week, during the week. Yes, honey, strike it up my black box. That was my shh, my walls. I chilled Chardonnay with Katja. I mean, she needed that wine after a day of Inside Edition and everybody's and being attacked by puppies and um, candles lighting on fire. I need a glass of Chardonnay and she cut herself getting to it. Girl, I get it. Take a boxing class. Take a boxing class like I do. We all get it, my trash shame. We all get it. Oh, do you hear Jessica Simpson's leaving her husband? And do you hear that Jessica Biel is leaving Justin Bieber? I mean, Justin Timberlake? Honey, the Jessicas. The Jessicas. Who's next? Who's next? Which Jessica's next? Jessica Rabbit? Jessica Alba? Honey, it's not a good time to be a Jessica and be married to a Ding Dong. Can we all, can we stop Oregana from touching her co-star's face constantly? Well, she's going to get green makeup on it. Ugh. Ugh. Wicked. I can't wait till Wicked's over. I'm tired of seeing everybody talk about Wicked. Gosh darn it. You're manifesting a Jessica Simpson and Nick Lachey affair, my trashy? All right. 98 degrees of Ding Dong. A fair. Of course they're both having... Why do you think Jessica Biel and Jessica Simpson are breaking up from their husbands? Oh, could it be an affair? A fair. It's always a fair, honey. Speaking of affairs, did you guys see this little bit of a tidbit? James Dean paid off disgruntled male lover to keep him from revealing gay affair on eve of actor's big break, according to a book. <laughs> book. I love that source is a book. Who is she, honey? Who is she? Who is she? Who's this queen? Who is this queen? Do we believe this story? I mean, he's dead. There's all, they said, that according to this, the promo, promo for the book, they said there's many stories about James Bean being a homosexual, that they're gonna put it all together like in a book. Um, one time I had a book when I was in high school, I was reading it, and they allegedly showed a picture of him naked in a tree with his bird. It was a big bird, honey. She has a big bird. I don't know if it's actually him or not. It wasn't Luke Perry, my trashy. But do, I heard Marlon Brando also too was, would swing with, um, with people. He liked um, BJ's. Cher's book, I know my trashy. It's a memoir. It's only, it's only one part of her life. It's only the beginning part with Sunny and her childhood. Because she's taking a long time and she can't, she's bored and she doesn't want to write the rest. So the rest is coming allegedly. But she wants to work on an album. Because she's strong enough. Well, thank you my trashy. I, thank you for thinking I'm funny. 
And Jamie doesn't deserve this, but you know I want to know. You know I want to know. Who is she? Who is she? And now speaking of mysteries, so I'm here in Pittsburgh learning to become a boxer so I can fight my way through life and, and to fight through my affairs. I was going into Rite Aid to pick up my pills, my dolls, and lo and behold, I look down, and this is what I say. Someone lost their teeth. It's sad. Somebody's out there like this. Who is she? Who is she? Is this my ex, John John? Did he lose his teeth? My ex-boyfriend that went missing? Is this, is this a clue to John John's whereabouts? Honey, they're real. Who's anybody, listen, if anybody knows anybody in Pittsburgh that lost their teeth, I think I found them outside Rite Aid. Here she is, honey. He's leaving me. John John's leaving me clues and crumbs to follow him, probably into the woods. John John left me a clue. This is John John. Honey, we're getting closer and closer. Exclusive clue. John John, you're there. I look like Avril today. Avril Levine. <laughs> I like a skater boy. I like, I do like skater boys. And I like boys with fast cars that cheat on me. A fair. Anyway, um, listen, we got to get to this total trash live. It's time. It's time. It's time. So, you know, People Magazine, yes, Nancy Grace can swap for DNA, my trashy. I'll swap. He passed those teeth, by the way. Hair affair. Thank you, my trash. Now listen, get to it. Who the hell are you, Ding Dong? Gosh darn it. <laughs> those teeth are a short sign that affair is gonna skew. Honey, this show's a skew. People magazine had their pick for sexiest man alive, and it's John Christian Shirt. Here she is, honey. You know, some people like it, some people don't. Milk toast. Beige, I don't care. But I have Total Trash Live's list of sexiest trashies of the year. And sexiest trashy of the year. The first nominee is Long Legs. Oh. I love a man with long legs. And I'm not talking about Nicolas Cage. I'm talking about long legs. The, those legs, any killer legs. But not in the picture because they're too long. But this is one of the nominees. Gorgeous, a sexy, trashy man. Trash is gorgeous. This is another sexy, trashy, alive or dead because some of them are dead. Dominio. Oh, a homosexual. <laughs> I, I think I confirmed homosexual, unlike James Dean. Oh, the sexiest trashy of the year. Another nominee. The dummy that Inside Edition lit, <laughs> lit on fire during the demonstration of little tiki round torch candles. Oh, who is she? Who is this, who is this dummy queen twink? She's sexy. She's sexy and she's trashy. And that's my girl. And of course, one of my favorites, Mr. Michael B. Jordan. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh. I'm all the clamped. I got stuck in my tooth. Talk to among yourselves. Michael, Sean, now listen. Michael B. Jordan. Don't drop my dentures. How dare you, my trashy. Ha ha, what is happening? This show's happening, my trashy. The next nominee for Shashia Shashia of Alive. 
<laughs> or dead or, or all time. The fabric of Shushin is shitty. <laughs> the fabrics. Oh, those sexy, trashy fabrics, honey. Look at it. Oh, you think they're wearing cashmere panties? Do you think they're wearing cashmere panties? It's Shushin. It's so sexy. Oh, the next nominee is Lumina's father, who I had an affair with. Oh, I don't care. He doesn't pay child support, and he left me for an alien, another alien. But he's shashi. It's trashy shashi of the year. Patricia feels doesn't she doesn't do the show anymore, my trashy. That's why it's a skew. It's somebody else. The next nominee for Shashia Shashia of the Year, Camilla Pucker Bowes. <gasps> Camilla Pucker Bowes, do you think I'm sexy? She's making a call. She's calling me. Hold on. Hello, do you think I'm sexy? I quite do. Yes. Shashia's Trashy of the Year. Another nominee for me, Madonna's backup dancer Prince from the Celebration Tour. Show Shakshi and a boxer. I'm into boxing right now and I will fight. Fight for love living for love we're coming down to the final two who do you think is my most sexy trashy of the year could it be john john my missing husband who left me his teeth is it her is it she could it be john john he's still not back he's still missing but he's leaving me teeth clues no. The winner of Total Trash Lives, Shushish Trashy of the Year, is the one and only, the one and only, Nautical Queen. It doesn't get any shusher than this or better. Congratulations, Guar. You're always one of our sexiest trashies of all time. <laughs> Waiting for tonight. Oh, oh, wait. I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I made a mistake. The Nautical Queen is not the winner of Total Trash Lives. Trashy, trashy of the year. I made a mistake. This is like Moonlight and La La Land. And La La Land's crumbling. No, it's not. That's not the winner. The true winner of Total Trash Lives, Trashy, Trashy of the Year is Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s Worm in His Brain. The true winner is Robert F. Kennedy Jr.'s Worm in His Brain. Nothing sexier. Nothing sexier. Look at that body on the eye. Look at that provocative pull of the bikini. A sexy worm in your brain? Honey, there's only one winner. And there she is. Who is she? Who is she? Who is she? This is Leslie. She tugs in her bra. She's a dancer. Slim, sexy, no, dump it. My girl. Cheryl is filing for divorce. Honey, Cheryl is always trying to file for divorce. Yes, and Robert F. Kennedy's a ding dong, but not the not the worm in his brain. This poor worm's trapped. This worm was in a pig. And next thing you know, it's in a human pig. It doesn't deserve that. I told you I worked at a gym in New York City 25 years ago, and he would come in. Robert F. Kennedy Jr., not the worm. And I would show, I, I would have to ask him for his um, ID, and he didn't want to give it to me. He was always giving me a hard time about it. And he doesn't like vaccines. She doesn't like to do anything. Except carry worms and chop off whale heads. Oh, well. The worm can get it right, my trashy. Now, come on. Who would you rather have? It's a simple question. The worm. Honey, I can, the worm can dance. She's a, she's a dancer. What can John Krasinski do? I don't even know. I don't even, I never even watched The Office. <laughs> and that's the winner. Are you guys happy with that? 
I am. Now let's get to these tabloid. Driven to divorce by her alpha ways, after having twins with Mariah, then wife, after having twins with then wife Mariah, Nick Cannon fathered ten more kids with five other gals. But now he says he felt like the the diva singer songbird be, was handpecking him. He felt like she was the man in their marriage. I got married in my twenties to the biggest star in the world. I, I wouldn't go that far. I will lay up at night thinking, is is this who I am? Am I Mariah's man? Is that what my life is supposed to be? I'm carrying a purse, the diaper bag. And, you know, I'm standing on the corner like, wait. Honey, there's nothing wrong with wearing a purse. I wear a purse. Just wear a purse. Latoya's wasting away, honey. You can never be too skinny in Hollywood. It's not a problem. There's Nicole Schwarzenegger. Honey, she's always showing her with blood in her face. I want to see that show. Where's her MAGA hat? <laughs> Not these girls again. Honey, they're fighting. Shucks in the shitty feud is still shimmering. Kim and Sarah can't, just can't let it go. What are they fighting about? Kim Kachel goes out of her way to avoid SJP. So, Sarah Jessica Parker is still bickers about Kim despite denying the, they're feuding. Cat fighting former Sex and the City co-stars, Kim Cattrall and Sarah Jessica Parker can't stop squabbling, even though it's been ages since they worked together. And they still go to extreme lengths to avoid each other. The blood butt's still very much a thing for these two. And that's a struggle for their friends who feel they're being forced to choose sides. Honey, this isn't a story. They're just making this up. This is the story. I'm going to New York. Am I going to see this zombie deer? Officials are urging folks not to eat it. <laughs> Honey, a zombie deer. I hope it's in Sunset Boulevard. It should replace Nicole Schwarzinger. She can sing. A zombie deer carrying a deadly disease has been found in New York in the first confirmed case of its kind in decades. And health officials have issued an urgent warning to steer clear of eating venison. Is that her name? I like that name. There is nearly 100% death rate among infected animals with chronic wasting disease. She's on a Zembeck. Popular, popularly referred to as zombie deer disease. The contagious neurological condition causes a horrible death, melting the brain and leaving the deer confused and drooling into a final collapse. Oh, honey, go to Akbar in Hollywood. They're there. There are no treatments or vaccines. Scientists fear that zombie deer disease is evolving to attack people, and the Department of Environmental Cons uh, Conservation cautioned that while there is no evidence that the CWD can affect humans, people, oh, okay, just don't eat her. Don't eat Venetian, Venetian Bradshaw. Venison Bradshaw. Who is she? Honey, there is a new, wait, gosh, there's a new girl in the city. There's a new girl in New York City, and it's her. Honey, you better watch. You don't have to worry about Kim Cattrall, honey. You got to worry about Venison. There's a new girl. That's the newest cast member. She's going to replace um, Samantha. Ah, <laughs> oh, affair. Speaking of affair, dun 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 dun. Camilla Parker Bosch. Camilla weeps for dying King. Do you think this is true? Lifelong love story coming to a grim end. Do you think this is true? Honey, these people. X marks the spot where Christina is becoming Barbie. Honey, she's becoming Barbie. She's turning plastic. Fantastic. Christine Aguilera has lost 40 pounds and made other changes. Yeah, honey, she's on a Zempic. She looks like Sabrina Carpenter. Is that, who is she? Is that Sabrina Carpenter? Who is she? Look at her. She looks better. Aging pop star Christina Aguilera is turning herself into a real-life Barbie doll. What's the problem? Christina has gone so far with this transformation, fans don't even recognize her. Blabs, a snitch. She looks like any other generic influencer with a plastic face and body. She seems determined to surgically alter every inch of herself. Well, honey, put her in the Barbie movie. She knows what's going on. She needs acting work because nobody buys those records. Nobody buys any records, especially hers. Honey, she's crying. Camilla cries for a dying hubby. You believe that this is true, my trashy? You do? They are jealous, my trashy. Maybe she's crying over Christina Aguilera. Ah, oh, I know time will tell. Time will tell with this story. This is this is too sad. Camilla Parker Bowes. That's my girl. She destroyed Princess Diana. Psycho puts 
price on Jelly Roll's head. What? Wife Bunny's harebrained scheme to chat up Deadpool killer backfires. I don't understand this. I don't know who these people are. This outfit's atrocious. What's this? The Joker, honey, is this cosmetic surgery? Is this Christina Aguilera? Is this a zombie deer? What's happening? Country heavyweight Jelly Well and his family are in a terrifying jam, a jelly jam, after wife Bunny wound up a cage killer has put a price on their heads. Brainless Bunny, <laughs> who worked as a high price escort before marrying the country star, shook up a bizarre relationship with Wade Wilson, Florida's notorious double killer. He was literally giving my phone number to random women. I don't, I don't know what this is. This is too trashy for me, honey. I don't care. If it's happening in Florida, Honey, this is happening in Florida. <laughs> Honey, Florida python panic. Alien Burmese snakes can devour aliens and deer in one bite. Well, hopefully not that zombie deer. Then it's going to be a zombie snake. This is disgusting. A chilly new study reveals Florida's problem with invasive Burmese pythons is much worse than doomsdayers suspected. Honey, they probably vote. They voted for Trump. Ugh, they're going to eat everybody. And finally, you know the world's askew when Timothy, loses, when Timothy Chalamet loses an own lookalike contest. Honey, do you think these two look like Timothy Chalamet? He was crowned. Do you think that looks like Timothy Chalamet? <laughs> Is that Timothy Chalamet? There was a surprise guest star at the Timothy Chalamet lookalike contest. The Call Me By Your Name star himself who shocked the crowd when he showed up at the event in, in Manhattan's Washington Square Park. The real Timothy, who wore a black bass baseball hat and black sweater, somehow looked less sh sh Chalamet-esque than many of his rivals. Oh, that was him. Honey, the NYPD were called, and they arrested a Chalamet? No. He necessarily, got the ne the necessary, he neglected to get the necessary per permit, so the rowdy crowd quickly drew the NYPD, which arrested one unchill Chalamet wannabe hosting an unauthorized costume contest. Not an unauthorized Chalamet costume contest. Oh, I told you, honey. Hollywood's crumbling. Hollywood's crumbling. Oh. Thank you for sticking around, my trash. We almost lost the broadcast because I'm broadcasting from Pittsburgh. And the internet is askew here. That's why I'm taking boxing class. Ugh. And the internet's askew here, and that's why I'm taking boxing classes. Gosh darn it! Not gonna, not gonna get my show canceled. Ah. Anyway, thank you for sticking around. Movie theaters are closing everywhere, my trashy. That's why, that's why Madonna shouldn't make a, a movie. That's why they don't want to make a Madonna movie. They don't want to give her the budget because that's why she should do a series. Do a series on Netflix. Have a Timothy Chalamet contest. I mean, people aren't going to the movie theaters. They're going to Washington Square Park to look at Timothy Chalamet. Honey, this is sexiest person of the year, and it's a warm. Honey, everything's crumbling. Everything's crumbling, and I'm here for it. I am taking boxing classes, yeah. Where's Lumina? Honey, she's here. She's got green star power, too. She doesn't need Wicked to be a part of it or a foot. I love you too, my trashy. Ah, well, it was another adventure, wasn't it, my trashies? Thank you so much for tuning in tonight. You like my blazer? It's giving girl boss. I got this at TJ Maxx here in Pittsburgh, um, where I'm apparently trapped. Um, at, um, I'm a Maxina. I've never been in there before. Well, that's not true. But I, I don't go in there frequently, but I was so bored here, I wandered into TJ Maxx. I'm a Maxina <laughs> and a Jirashi. <laughs> oh, why can't I be sexiest trashy of the year? Wait till my cashmere panties come. I'm serious. When my my, when my cashmere panties come, I'm gonna I'm gonna show them to you, my trashies. I'm not gonna wear them and show them to you. You have to go to Blue Sky for that or Sky Blue, whatever the hell that thing's called. The new Twitter. But I want to show you my sexy cashmere panties. I'm, I always dreamed about that. And then when I finally saw that they were half off on Charlie, I was like, I need my black sexy cashmere panties. 
I need them for the holidays. If I can't have an affair, I'll have an affair with cashmere trashy. The cashmere. What is my thoughts on the war on Thanksgiving? I don't know, honey. As long as I get um, stovetop stuffing. I love their candles, but I can't buy them because of cocoa. Because the cats, you can't have certain candles. They hate certain scents. That's right, honey. When my pain is coming, it is over for the rest of these hoes. And they need to learn it. Especially anyone that I'm having an affair with. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Oh, but everything I'm going to buy, if I was in West Hollywood for Thanksgiving, I would buy, um, I would go to Anaheim and get myself some bone broth lube that was in West Hollywood. Um, and, um, yeah, bird scented candles. And just like that, my trashies. I love stovetop stuffing too, my trashies. Uh, are we boycotting Thanksgiving? Oh, uh, well, I'm not, I don't really have any plans. I'm just going to be in Brooklyn wandering around. So if anybody's in New York and wants to invite me over for Thanksgiving, you can invite me. But I'll be in Brooklyn for Thanksgiving. What's on my Christmas list? Well, I already ordered it. I want my cashmere black panties. I want new slippers. I, I like fabrics. Cashmere. Velour. Mmm. Ooh, I'm burping. You had an affair with Fred Astaire? Oh, good for you, my trash. Show. You should write a book about it like they did James Dean. Oh, I had an affair with her, long legs. And honey, that wasn't the only thing long on her. Ooh! <laughs> oh, my trashies. Here we are. Here we are again. Well, I'm going to go. I'm going to wait patiently for my panties. I'm not going to be here next week, but I'll be back the following week after Thanksgiving. I'll tell you about all of our, we could all talk about all of our Thanksgiving adventures. And um, as soon as I find this song, I'll cue it up. And I could be, we could all trash along. <laughs> There's always something askew on this show, honey. There is always something askew. I got my, um, my astrological red. It's good. They say it's good. I got my chart done. They said Pluto's gone girl, and it's going to be all good for me. And I'm going to be in New York with cashmere panties on Thanksgiving, having an affair. And I'm a rebel heart. Oh, all right, my trashies. Gobble, gobble. Have a wonderful indigenous day of Friendsgiving and all of it. A trashy giving. But I'll see you guys in two weeks. It'll be December. Honey, if I'm not out of here at some point in December. Am I in love now? I'm in love with my black cashmere panties that are in the mail. And I'm in love with my daughter. She's keeping Hollywood afloat. I'm a Capricorn. And my rising is a Pisces, and my moon is a Pisces. So I'm an emotional ding-dong. And I feel like I'm having affairs with ding-dong. I'm a Cap, yeah. Lumina's a Leo. Bye, my trashies. I'll see you later.